Hey, it's Michael, Sailors with Cars. It's been a while since we've done an interview. It's been a long while. Anyhow, today we've got Katie coming up with a twin turbo Q60, Sailors with Cars. Hey, it's Michael, Sailors with Cars. Been a while since we've done an interview, so it might be a little rusty at this. Remember, we're always looking for people to subscribe to the channel. Michael at Sailors with Cars, SailorsWithCars.com, Sailors with Cars on Instagram, and Sailors with Cars on Facebook. Hit me up for an interview. Uh, if I leave a sticker on your car, call me up. That's what Katie did, and uh, we'll do an interview. So today we've got Katie up here with us. She's a gas turbine mechanical, second class, stationed at Swarmick. And Katie, tell us a little bit about yourself. When did you come into the Navy? Um, entered into the Navy in 2012. Um, originally from Jamaica, but um, moved here when I was 16. Lived in New York, Long Island. So I've been stationed in California since 2012. Um, went to Hawaii for a five-year tour, and then I'm back in California for a three-year tour. What did you do in Hawaii? Um, I was on the USS John Paul Jones. Really? Yes. Well, that's really neat. You know why? Because at John Paul Jones, I was the second MPA on John Paul Jones. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. The first MPA was Warrant Jet Flores, and I was the second. I was my first commissioned uh, duty station. It was my first gas turbine ship. Yes. Good ship. DDG, DDG 53. 53. Yes. 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 <laughs> that was a very good ship. Um, so... What have you brought us up? And you notice, one thing I want to point out is, Katie is very well dressed. She's probably the best dressed interviewee that we've ever had on this channel. And she matches the color of the car. So that's kudos for that. Everything is blue. Tell us about your lovely blue uh, Infinity. So I've always had an Infinity. So my first one was the D35. And um, when I moved to Hawaii, I had it had been dinked up, the, the seat belt was like pretty much worn out. So I was like, hmm, I gotta change my car. So then I went down to, I went up to 37. And then when I had the 37, it was still okay and I didn't have any much problems with it. I loved it too, cause it was still blue. So blue is my blue. favorite color. So one of my, the story about my car, how I met my baby, I call it Tazzy. 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 As in Tasmanian Devil. Got it. So Tazzy. So how I met my lovely Tazzy here was I took one of my junior sailors to Infinity to go get a car because they were looking for car shopping and they want a car like mine, which sure. was the G37. However, when I pulled up, I saw this lovely baby on the, the floor and I told the, the dealership, I'm like, I want that car. I was like, and he was, one of the guys were looking at me all weird, like, okay. Because I was coming from swimming lessons, so I was kind of not looking the salesmanship look, kind of. Look, look like you wanted to buy a car, yeah. <laughs> right. So um, I was like, I want this car. And then this guy was looking at me all weird. And then the other guy came and said, give me your key and I take, you can take my key. And I was like, okay. And I switched keys. Done. So then I called. Um, so, you know, my car is all paid off. Nice. So um, I called my brother, which is very good at striking deals. So I got my car for 38 and a lot of people was like, damn, how do you get it for so cheap? Cause like I had cash at a hand. And that's why, so stationed in Hawaii on a test platform, we don't really have much to do. We go to see every week, every other week. So pretty much we save our money. I save my money. I don't know about everybody else, but for you. I save my money. So. Both my brothers, one was a major in the, arm, the army and one was a first lieutenant. So they both put together with my money and buy this lovely thing for my birthday. It was kind of a birthday present, late birthday present, but a birthday present. Good for you. So then I brought the check the next day, never took the other car back and just kept this one. So that's the story behind how I met my Tazzy. And what, do you know what color blue this is? It's a royal blue. Royal blue. But the painting has, um, it has sparkles in it. So when you, at nighttime, it shows dark blue. So it's like metallic-y? When it, right, when, it's, when you go in the sunlight, it shows like a, um, 
like a like a lighter blue right the royal blue is supposed to be with like little sparkles in the paint job so it's really cool how it is and i really love it it's i love blue car. so <laughs> the front of it's got a tasmanian devil on it let's take a look at the front real quick okay so we're i had to come up to the front of the car because i wanted to show the tasmanian devil and of course you're lucky because the car's not registered in california so you can do that <laughs> that's why i have to put front plates on so v6 twin turbo uh, do you know the horsepower by any chance? It's 450 horsepowers. Really? Yes. It's quite the screamer then. So it's um, it's a sport package. So a lot of, you see a lot of other Q60s, but um, they're not the same package as this one. It might look alike, but the way you know the difference is the muffler. The muffler has like, in my muffler, it has little tiny holes going around. So that's how you know which package they have. They have the, um, cause I got everything on mine. I made sure like- Did I you buy this one in San Diego or Hawaii? In Hawaii. Hawaii and it shipped it over. Nice, yes, clean, looks good. All right, um, do you wanna look at the back end real quick and then we'll do an inside shot. Okay, I just wanna get a shot of the back end and it's a good looking car. Um, and I see the holes in the exhaust that you were talking about. Um, yeah, looking forward to going for a ride. Okay, so of course, uh, we're still here with KDM. We're still here with the Q60, and she's inside, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about what's going on in there. Oh, I didn't see the Tasmanian devil on the steering wheel. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, what do you got going in there? So um, it's dual touch screen, and it's press button start. So when you start it up, all this, the screen lights up. See all the fun fun aspect if you're if you have an in touch account all your phone your 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 phone numbers everything is going to be uploaded to your phone it has where well, you could connect your music i have my charging port right here um it doesn't come with an automatic start um it doesn't come with an automatic start um, charging port oh gotcha so it just comes with the usb ports right here nice and then, um, so far, it has good, nice heated seats, um, heated steering wheel. We don't need that too much in San Diego. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> and we got heated steering wheels. Um, it also has the sensor. It has also a 360 camera. So if you stand up in front there, you'll see it show you Somebody the 360 around oh, the car. Like you're looking down at the car. Right. Yeah. So it has the 360 cameras. It also has the sensors that picks up. So it also has the crash collision. Um, so if you're going too close to a car, it also it push your foot off the gas. Oh, nice. So pretty much, um, it has that capability. You could um, stop it, but better not to. Yeah. What about the uh, boxing gloves and stuff like those? So my aunt gave me these because she said I was a fighter. Nice. So um, the story behind that is I've been having, since I joined the Navy, it's been a challenge. So she's like, you don't give up at the first punch they throw. You keep fighting. So that's the story behind these boxing gloves. Nice. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's take it for a ride. Yes, sir. All Let's right. go. All right, Michael. Sailors with car with Katia and her T60. We're gonna go do the loop. Um, yeah, got a little pickup there, old lead foot. Yes, it does. <laughs> it's all good. You know, so out of Swarmick, we're gonna go straight. Out of Swarmick, you're the third. Yeah third person that I've interviewed. Okay. I did, uh, uh, of course I'm going to forget his name. Uh, he's got a uh, blue, dark blue um, Mustang. Gosh darn it, he's a first class engine man. Don't remember him. And then there's an engine man that got out of the Navy. He's got a Corvette. Um, and if I could just wreck his, he, uh, he didn't wreck it, it got wrecked. Um, but we did an interview with him. Do you think to do I think that was it. So Jamaica, tell me about that. Well, it's a nice little island and gotta love it. The people there are friendly, you know, even though people might talk, you know, bad things at times, but every every country has their bad moments. You know, regardless how no country is at hundred percent safe. 
So with that said, you know, Jamaican people are great. Um, you can never go hungry when you're there. So I'll tell you my connection. I've never been to Jamaica. My wife and I, we travel quite a bit, but uh, we haven't done much Caribbean travel. But when I was part of uh, InServe, uh, I went to uh, Guantanamo to do um, an inspection on the ferry boats there. And I remember that the majority, whoever does the contracting for that base, seems to get the majority of the people from Jamaica. And they had a direct flight, and there's not a lot of flights going into uh, Guantanamo. Guantanamo to begin with. Uh, but they had a direct flight that went to Jamaica for the contractors so they could go back and forth with their families. But they had one, it used to be an old barracks complex, and all the Jamaican contractors lived in that complex. And yeah, you talk about food. So that's the first place I think I really had jerk chicken. Uh, and of course it was delicious. <laughs> Everybody loves Jamaican jerk chicken. Yeah, I didn't really know what it was. Uh, it's it was the good. spice, you know, the flavor. It's just the richness of it all. Like, you can't believe that chicken can have that much flavor in it. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. The only thing I think I had anything close to it was when I lived in Hawaii and had Hawaii chicken, which I like too. <laughs> so much chicken I don't like. <laughs> so we have a party. My graduation party. So we're going to have to go left. Okay. Well, my country, um, you know, it's built off of different races and culture. So our market is out of money, one people. So we pretty much um, welcome pretty much anybody that comes home, comes to our homeland. Is your family still there? Um, no, my mom, she lives in Florida now. My mom's living in Florida. My dad passed when I was 14. Mm. Um, I have my brothers and they are pretty much like the father figure. <laughs> nice. Because I'm the only girl. Well, not the only girl, but I'm the only girl that's the, here with them. My, I have another sister, two other sisters, one still in Jamaica and one um, in England. I just met them because I didn't know I had them. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well. <laughs> so. Give me excuse to go to England and visit. <laughs> yes, that is an excuse, that's what I told myself. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice. Your brothers live in Florida also? So one of my brothers, they right now just moved to LA, the outskirts of LA, he bought a house out there. And then my other brother, he lives in Florida with my mom. Oh, huh. we're in Florida. West Palm Beach? West Palm Beach. We used to have, well, my brother and I still have a house in St. Augustine. Uh, we live in Dow, but we're not from Florida. My aunt lived there for years and she passed and uh, my mother was there and we lived here to Minnesota with my brother so we kept the house. Uh, I'm not a Florida person. A little too, a little too hot and, and I, don't, I don't do well in the Well, um, because I'm from the islands, it doesn't bother me that much. Yeah, 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 it's really not what you grew up with. I grew up in Montana, so oh. hot in the summer but dry and very cold in the winter. Yeah. And that's why I live in California. <laughs> Stay away from all that. So, yeah, it's a very beautiful car. Uh, here we are just chatting away, but uh, the car is beautiful. It rides nice. It's got a great get up and go. Um, you know, thank you for uh, calling me up, and that was a welcome surprise because <laughs> I'm just kind of getting things going again with the whole COVID stuff, and uh, I haven't really been pushing people for interviews, but you've kind of You've kind of kicked me in the gear and uh, we'll get a few more people on the channel, I hope. Well, um, I, feel, I felt bad that I didn't respond to you in the first place. So I'm like, oh, I know he put it on my car. So I'm like, once I get my car situated, I will definitely um, let him do my car for me. I'm pretty picky about who I put them on too, I'll tell you <laughs> that. I just don't put them on every car. If I see a car that I would like to know more about or the person that owns it, that's kind of my process for putting the, the placards on the cars. Um, anyhow, can we thank you for bringing it up? I appreciate it. No problem. Okay, so we just brought the uh, Q60 back into the shop. Uh, yep, it hauls ass. There's no doubt about it. Had a good ride with it. Enjoyed it. It's a beautiful car. Love the color. Thank you for coming up. I appreciate it. Spread the word of the channel, please, because uh, we're pretty slim pickings on interviews and people, that's for sure. All right, till next time, remember, hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, Michael at Sailors with Cars.